Around noon, we hiked back to the water canyon. We proceeded to make ourselves noticeable to the spirit by noisy talk and by a forced silence which lasted hours. We then left the place. Instead of heading back to the house, Don Juan took off in the direction of the mountains. We reached some mild slopes first, and then we climbed to the top of some high hills. There, Don Juan picked out a spot to rest in the open, unshaded area. He told me that we had to wait until dusk and I should conduct myself in the most natural fashion, which included asking all the questions I wanted. I know that the spirit is out there lurking, he said in a low voice. Where? Out there, in the bushes. What kind of spirit is it? He looked at me in a quizzical expression and retorted, How many kinds are there? We both laughed. I was asking questions out of nervousness. It'll come out at dusk. We just have to wait. I remained quiet. I ran out of questions. This is the time when we must keep talking, he said. The human voice attracts spirits. There's one lurking out there now. We must make ourselves available to it, so keep on talking. I experienced an idiotic sense of vacuity. I could not think of anything to say. He laughed and patted me on the back. You're truly a pill. When you have to talk, you lose your tongue. Come on, beat your gums. He made an hilarious gesture of beating his gums together, opening and closing his mouth with great speed. 